What's good guys, it's Brad from Their Core Trainers, back with another video. Today, it isn't going to be a trainer pickup, it's going to be a clothing pickup, and something that I'm hoping might be the start of a little collection other than trainers, because um, oh, when I was away travelling, I saw a lot of this particular item, you, as you know by the um, title of the video, they are uh, basketball jerseys or tops, um, as I said, when I was away, I did see quite a lot of them in the different Adidas stores that I visited, especially in Germany. And I thought they were really cool, especially the retro ones, but they're quite expensive. But I've always been a bit of a basketball fan, and I saw this one was on sale on Adidas's website for half price. And I uh, decided to pick it up, so I'm hoping this will be the first of a few. And uh, if you enjoy this video, or this video gets a considerable like reaction, then I'll post a, um, a few more videos whenever I pick up some, some more. Alright, so this is a live commentary. Normally what I do is um, um, record the video, edit it, and then record a commentary over the top. But this will be the first live commentary I've done in quite a while. So let's get straight into the jersey. As you know by the title, it is um, an Orlando Magic one. And it is a hardwood classic. Here's all the general Adidas stuff. With all the details and stuff on there. It is a Swingman jersey. And there are quite a few different um, types of replica jerseys for the NBA. Um, there's a few different classifications. Uh, there's replica, which I think is the lowest because it's the cheapest ones. Then there's this one, the one that I've got today, which is a swingman jersey, which I think is a bit more high quality. And then you've got um, like the actual ones the players wear. I think they're called Adidas Rev 30. But let's get into this one. Alright, so there's your Orlando jersey. You can just see the Orlando there. I will pick it up for you so you can see it in the bag. And then uh, I'll cut to the um, point when I've got it out of there. Alright guys, so back. let's get back into it. Um, all I've done is basically taken off the plastic wrapping. And there was actually an extra layer of saran wrap on the inside as well. So with the box and the packaging, everything was perfect, really high quality. So if you ever order anything straight from Adidas, you know it's going to be um, really good, really well packaged. All right, so as you can see, it has O'Neill 32 on the back. Of course, Shaq, uh, this jersey is from the Orlando team that he was drafted to in the 1990s. It also had my favorite player, Penny Hardaway, on that team as well. So I will be looking for an Orlando Hardaway jersey as well. But... I'm not sure how hard they are to come by. As I said, this is a hardwood classic jersey. There's the tag on there. Also has the tag on the bottom of the jersey. Just there for you. Is a size large, as you can tell by the big L. And then it has length plus two, which is a bit of a standard for basketball jerseys. Um, so, I think the main difference between replica ones and the swingman ones are that this... Uh, the text and the number are actually stitched on, and the replica ones are just straight on, straight printed on. And then I guess the um, Rev 30 ones will be more performance performance orientated. So I guess they just have like newer materials, probably be tighter as well, just probably better off for playing in. I'll give you a quick look at the tag on there. All right, so that's a quick look at the front of the jersey. Orlando with a 30. Orlando with a 32. I'll move that back for you. And then you've got O'Neill 32 on the back here as well. Really cool colours like black, blue, white. Going to be easy to find shoes to go with it. Going to be easy to find. You just wear plain jeans, plain dark uh, blue jeans or even black jeans if you wanted to. Something I just thought was really cool. I managed to get it for half price. And as I said, when I saw... Uh, when I went travelling, I saw quite a few of these in the different stores and was considering picking them up. They're quite expensive in England and in Europe, everywhere really. But when I saw this was half price um, on the Adidas website, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I'm hoping it'll be the first of a few jerseys I get to pick up. Um, whenever I see if they're on sale or it's a good deal on eBay, I will try and pick one up and then bring a video to you. As I said, I'm looking for a Hardaway one, a Penny Hardaway one. I should say and also they've got um, some pretty cool ones on the Adidas store at the moment but they're still full price so um, I'll just give it a while and see if they drop um, to, into the sale and then pick them up 
One particular is the um, Matombo Nuggets jersey because that's actually my team. I'll just spin this around again, give you another view. As I said, um, all the stuff is stitched on. There is a stitch um, around the numbers and around the letters as well. And then the, la uh, the pinstripes are printed on. Talking about pinstripes, the Chicago Bulls pinstripe is um, one that I'll probably look to pick up as well. I'd like a Rodman one more than a Jordan one, just because you can get Jordan jerseys anywhere, really, in any colour. I'd like a Dennis Rodman one. I know they've got the red um, away kit, away jersey, sorry, um, on the Adidas store at the moment. So if that drops in price, then I'll probably pick that one up as well. But yeah, that'll do it. This is the Shaquille O'Neal or Shaq uh, Orlando Magic Hardwood Classics jersey from Adidas. Just wanted to share it with you. I picked it up, so I thought, why not make a quick unboxing video, see if you liked it, and if you do, whenever I get a new jersey, I will make a video on it. But until then, uh, thanks. People thinking that I'm kind of mad I've made the yacht a ghost And where we switch up lanes and find them gaps Rolling, talking game What's the wave you say? A sap of sailor J